Hi guys, so I'm starting to get a good collection of dice now, and I think I can officially call myself a dice goblin, although obviously I've not got quite as many dice as Laura Bailey, but we'll get there one day. So all the dice I do have, I get from Easy Roller Dice, and there's a link in the description, and if you use my code MINI15, you get 15% off all the dice. We all have our favourite D20s that we use over sort of all the others, and what better way of sort of storing them or holding them on the desk, but then to have one of these. And that is a goblin dice holder. And as you can see, lovely little lady there peering over the big sort of stone hand. And yeah, looks pretty cool. So this was pre-D printed on my Anycubic Photon Mono. But I'll show you that in a second. And yeah, get your favourite dice. And there we go. Perfect way to hold it on your desk. So I also 3D printed this one, which was using some clear green resin, which I think has come out pretty well. Um, love the fact you can get clear resins for your 3D printers, so it's almost like you're printing out glass or plastic, so that one's pretty cool. And the other great thing about 3D printer, you can print things off any size. So this is a mini one, and this one's printed off to the same size as the miniature figures. Um, this one obviously I painted, and yeah, I just love these little green, green goblin. If you want to print out a goblin dice holder, then take a look over at my mini factory, and look up Twin Goddess Miniatures, as they do a fantastic array of miniatures, all kinds of wonderful things there, but obviously the one that I went for was the Dice Goblin. Again, there'll be a link in the description, guys, we're going to go and check them out. I have printed out quite a few of their figures in the past and painted them, and there's quite a few videos on my channel, so you can go and look at more of the work that they do, but they are pretty awesome. So let's just go to download in the file that you need, opening up the Anycubic software, and then you can basically just drag and drop, which is pretty awesome. And yeah, simple as that. So the figures come pre-supported, which is pretty awesome, so there's no worrying about that. So it's a case of drag and drop in, then saving it, stick it on a little USB like this, pop that in the side of your printer, push a couple of buttons, Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, and there we go, off it goes. And then just a few hours later, your prints are out, which is pretty awesome. Let's say, I must admit, I absolutely love my 3D printer by Anycubic, and I am using it almost every day. Uh, especially now that you can get these, say, the clear resins. Obviously, they've had them for a while, but this is the first time I've ever used them. And yeah, I love the way they've come out. And there will be another video out soon where I make some uh, some potion bottles using the clear resin, which is pretty awesome. The prints have been washed, and now obviously putting them in some warm water, just to make it easier to take the supports off. And yeah, they come off really well. That's another reason why I like to use the prints by Twin Goddess Miniatures, as they do all come pre-supported, and yeah, I've never had any issues with them. They've always come off really well. So yeah, awesome. So there it is, it doesn't really need any cleaning either, to be honest. These are... The supports come off really well, um, obviously really well in that case. So yeah, there's no real need to go over and scrape any bits off, as everything's come off really well. So there's one. Um, yeah, so I'm loving the, uh, the clear resin look. I think it looks pretty awesome. So the other two I will paint, but the clear resin one will stay as it is. That's all the supports off nice and easy, and I primed this one in black, as obviously that's going to have the copper sort of look to it. Uh, the resin one, obviously, as like I say, it's going to stay as it is. And the other one I'm going to fully paint, so I, I primed that one in a white. So for this one, obviously it's just a case of doing some dry brushing, nice and easy. And as you guys all know, I love dry brushing because it is just nice and easy. And also it dries really quick and gives it a great quick look, which uh, is pretty awesome. So yeah, this definitely is kind of like dry brushing, so you're just going over the whole of the figure. Um, I've kept the pieces separate just because obviously it would be easier to paint them. But then once they are fully painted, I will uh, we'll actually glue them together. There's no need to have them as sort of two separate pieces. And yeah, that's it. Simple as that. Obviously this is speeded up, but um, but yeah, it really didn't take long at all uh, for me to complete this one. As obviously dry brushing is just that. It's, it's so quick, so easy, and yeah, job done. And this one probably turns out to be my favourite one, because I, I just do love the look of, uh, well, look at the sort of bronze, copper effect sort of things. It makes them look like they're metal as well, so nice and heavy, even though they are only uh, plastic. For the clear resin one, obviously I wanted to give it a bit more of a shine, so that's why I'm using this sort of clear varnish, just so it has a bit more of a, a sort of shine to it. Um, and yeah, as simple as that really, getting the, the clear varnish stuff that I've got, you dilute it with some water, and then it is just a case of painting it all over. Um, obviously I did make sure the one that I've got doesn't go cloudy or white or, well, discolour in any way. Um, and yeah, so I painted the whole thing, and it, it dried reasonably quick. But I think if you want to give it a second coat, you do need to leave it sort of a good 12 hours or more. But 
but I only wanted to give it one coat just so it had a bit of a shine to it. And yeah, pleased with the result of that. And then the third and final one I printed out at 32mm scale, just so it would kind of fit in with all the other sort of miniatures that I've got. I thought that would be quite cool. And yeah, this one I gave it a normal sort of paint job, and that was basically going over with the sort of the base colours, um, covering everything up, obviously trying to be as neat and as tidy as I can. And once that's all dried, then going over it with a wash, and in this case I did a very light sort of shade wash on this one, just to obviously give it some sort of shadows. Uh, whether there are areas where there's too much wash, it is easy just to go over the brush and obviously just sort of like dab them back up, which is what I kind of do afterwards, just so there's not too much on this figure. And then yeah, that's it, that's them all done. And I'm really pleased with how they came out. Um, I say, the bronze one is definitely one that I would probably use more than the others, um, just because I love the way this one's come out. If you are a dice goblin, don't forget to head over to Easy Roller Dice, use my code MINI15, to get 15% off all those lovely dice, as well as obviously my dice tray is over there guys, I think there are a few left, um, so go over there quick and grab one of those. Hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, I just want to say a quick shout out and thank you to all my patrons, as well as the sponsors for helping making it possible for me to sort of keep making these videos and obviously buying the materials I need to build stuff. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this, leave comments down below, hit the like button, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, take care, bye for now.